Now we'll take a look at the blood vessels in the flat model. Here we have the aortic arch. And the first blood vessel to branch out of the aortic arch is the brachiocephalic artery. Now, as the name implies, brachiocephalic, this blood vessel will branch into something that will go towards your arm, brachial, and something that will go towards your head, cephalic. Since this is the right side of the heart, we can remember that the brachiocephalic artery will branch into the right subclavian artery and the right common carotid artery. If we look at the right subclavian artery, this blood vessel is the one that goes underneath the clavicle, subclavian, right? And since we cannot see the clavicle in this model, we are using the lateral aspect of the first rib as our anatomical landmark to say when the subclavian artery becomes the axillary artery. So right at the lateral aspect of the first rib. The subclavian artery is up to here, and then we have the axillary artery. And you can see that one branch of the axillary artery is the one that will wrap around the axilla, right? Now, after we can follow an artery that is right here, and this is the arm, and we refer to the arm as brachium, right? So this artery that we see right here is the brachial artery. And the brachial artery is splits and gives rise to two arteries, one that is on the radius bone side, and this is called radial artery, and another branch is on the ulna bone side, and this is named ulnar artery. If we take a look at the veins, we find here the subclavian vein. Remember, here we had the subclavian artery. So this is the subclavian vein. After we pass the lateral aspect of the first rib, the subclavian vein then receives the name of axillary vein. Then look at here. We have a vein that's on the medial aspect of the upper limb. And we have another vein that is on the lateral aspect of the upper limb. The vein that is on the lateral aspect of the forearm and also the arm all the lateral aspect of the upper limb is named cephalic vein. And the vein that we see here on the medial aspect of the upper limb is called basilic vein. So you remember that the basilic is always medial and the cephalic is always lateral. One way you can do to remember that the basilic is always medial, you remember Mercedes Benz MB, the medial one is always the basilic one. Now, if you look here at the anterior aspect of the elbow region, you see that we have this letter Y. And basically the cephalic vein and the basilic vein are getting together at this Y. What happens is that this Y is basically at the cubital region. So this blood vessel that we are seeing here is named median cubital vein. 